All right, so next from Suspira House, we have Herbal Leather. I definitely wanted to check this out because as you all know, I'm a big fan of leather fragrances, which I wasn't expecting Prima Donna to have this strong leathery facet to it. So let's see what this one smells like. All right, so this is the box and the bottom portion of it is in black. And here is the bottle. The bottle is in black and that's exactly what I expected from leather to be all in black. All right, so let's spray this and see what it smells like. This is ridiculous. It's that good, I cannot believe it. I don't even know why I got vibrato because this is ridiculous. Wow, so sexy. Yeah, these two can definitely be a hit fragrances. They're unbelievable. I mean, for people that are into leather fragrances, but God, it's done so unique. I get this like um, tropical fruity uh, citrusy uh, kind of uh, accords in here, which makes it very unusual for a leather fragrance. Uh, kind of uh, reminds me of um, H. Mamba type of a leather. Uh, very wild, very colorful, uh, very well done, very sexy. God, this is really nice. So uh, it's definitely very leathery. Uh, I get this beautiful amber body, this colorful amber body in it. Uh, it's definitely citrusy. It has this zesty, acidic opening. So it's definitely citrusy. Uh, it's somewhat animalic. It's not as animalic as I thought it would be, uh, especially compared to other fragrances that I reviewed that are very animalic. So it's just a tiny bit animalic, which makes it very sexy. It's definitely very woody. Uh, it's tropical, uh, like Herba Pura. Uh, and uh, it's, as I mentioned, very aromatic and it has this uh, white floral to it. Uh, it's actually, interestingly, it's kind of a fresh type of a leather instead of warm and dark type of a leather. Uh, it's kind of, again, colorful, fruity, tropical, and exotic type of a leather. Very well done, very sexy. Now that's opening up more, it's becoming even more woody. Um, it's also kind of becoming powdery and it's becoming smoky as well. And I think the smokiness must be from Vetive. Yeah, really nice, excellent. Just an exquisite type of a scent. Right up my alley, I love this. So the notes that I think that are in here, top notes, I believe that you definitely have some lemon or bergamot going on, which gives it that uh, citrusy, zesty kind of a feel to it. Uh, there must be some passion fruit or some um, mixture of fruitiness going on in here that gives it that tropical vibe to the fragrance. Uh, in the middle note, I believe that there's definitely uh, some leather going on. Uh, there's some uh, jasmine, white floral going on there. And uh, again, the fragrance becomes kind of woody, fresh, uh, kind of powdery, uh, which must be from sandalwood. Uh, and I also get um, in the base uh, a little bit of that smokiness, which comes from vetive, uh, that beautiful amber body. And I believe there's definitely more leather in the base as well. All right, so I give it some time to uh, let it to dry down. And now that I'm smelling this, this is a beauty. I'm telling you guys. God, I want to say this is a masterpiece because it's so well done. I cannot wait to get this on my skin and try it out because it's just unbelievable. So the dry down, the leather becomes more prominent. It becomes woodier. Uh, something interesting happens. It becomes uh, dusty. Uh, some might say powdery, but it's kind of dusty, powdery, whatever you like to say, which uh, definitely must be from Vetibe because it has a dusty smokiness to it with kind of earthy uh, green 
kind of a facet to it. Also kind of milky, sturdy, um, which must be the mixture of sandalwood and vetiver. Now, something interesting about vetiver is that you have two kinds of vetiver. You got the Haitian vetiver, which is clean and ethereal, while you have the Havanese vetiver, which is smoky and dusty. So this one definitely has to be Havanese vetiver because it's dusty and smoky. And in general, it's earthy, woody, and green at the same time. Now, sandalwood also has woody, milky, soft, sturdy, rich, with a green top note to it, which definitely adds to the uh, uh, vetive facets of this fragrance on the dry down. So all in all, it is a very colorful, um, playful, somewhat chaotic, uh, in a very uh, rhythmic way, uh, kind of a leather um, that is just done so wild. And I love it. I love fragrances like this. Very complex, very luxurious at the same time, but it's very wild, very playful, and it's fun type of a scent. It's not boring. Uh, and I think that this is something that a lot of people that are into leather fragrances and are looking for something fun, not uh, monotonic, uh, something that's kind of multifaceted, they would definitely enjoy this kind of a leather. So this one is definitely not your uh, Tuscan leather or uh, your Falcon leather, which is like pure leather fragrance. It's kind of like a mixture of leather and other exotic notes to make it kind of playful, wild, and colorful at the same time.